the time I cried at camp. When I was in the fourth grade, we went to summer camp. Except it wasn't in the summertime, it was actually during the school year. One day our classes got to go and make different candles in this little candle workshop. We even got to take the candles home when we were done making them. I was so proud of my candle and I was gonna take it home and give it to my mom, so I put it in my pocket. So later that night, we're all sitting in the cafeteria eating dinner and talking about our candles that we had made. I reach into my left pocket and <gasps> it was gone. I absolutely panicked. While all the other kids were sitting and eating dinner, the camp counselor decided to take me back to the candle workshop to see if I had left it there. It wasn't there. So I am absolutely devastated. We're walking around camp, still can't find the candle, and we gave up. To cheer me up, the camp counselor gave me one of those little patches that you put on a jacket. It had the camp logo on it. Fast forward a couple days later, we're on our way home from camp, and I reach into my right pocket. And guess what I find? The candle. It had been in the right pocket all along. I didn't check it. So I had the candle to give to my mom, and I got to keep the patch. Moral of the story, always check the other pocket. Ready with me in my RV why I tell you one of the most embarrassing things that has ever happened to me. So for context, I was in eighth grade. My friend was having a sleepover and there was gonna be 30 plus people there. So we're doing dance competitions, we're doing skits, we're having fun, it's a good time. Backstory, when I grew up, I didn't really have any soda or anything like that or juices. If you had that when you were growing up, I always thought that you must have been super rich or something because we all we had was ever water. So, you know, when I was at this birthday party that I was gobbling up, Sprite Zero to be exact. And a couple hours are going by and after we are dancing and stuff like that, my stomach just kind of starts to her and later everyone starts going to sleep and i am not sleeping at all i am sneaking to the bathroom multiple times and everyone's knocked out i am wide awake trying to get my stomach to stop hurting and it kept making these loud growling noises i'm like i need to call my mommy to pick me up but it's like four o'clock in the morning so finally after tucking myself in the living room i go into a deep sleep and i start to dream in this dream there is a spiral staircase to another room and when i get up there i see a bunch of a green Toilets. No stalls, just green toilets. I run after one of these toilets, hunker down in the seat, and I push as hard as I can. And then all of a sudden, I hear, I was farting out loud. The <gasps> didn't wake me up. Me going, <gasps> woke me up. And now it's your turn to comment your most embarrassing story. What do you say? Does it top mine? Even though nobody asked, I'm gonna tell you guys the second most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to me. That was my 16th birthday party. I just wanted to keep it casual, so I was hanging out with all my friends at the mall, and then we were gonna go to an art museum in about an hour. But in the meantime, we were all just hanging out at Dick's Sporting Goods, literally just playing mini golf. And then I had to pee, so my boyfriend's sister went with me. So we walk in the bathroom, and <laughs> you guys remember that meme that was going around in like 2020, and it's like the old guy, and he's like, time for a munch, crunch. Time for a munch. Crunch, crunch. Well, I used to quote that meme constantly. Of course, when we walk in the bathroom, there's only two stalls and no one in there. So Hannah, my boyfriend's sister, is just standing by the sinks waiting for me because she didn't have to go. So I get into the stall and I realize there's no toilet paper in mine, but I could just reach into the stall next to me and take some of theirs. So I, still thinking we're the only ones in there, proceed to reach under to the stall next to me as I'm sitting on the toilet, literally yelling, it's time for a munch, crunch, over and over from the top of my lungs as I am actively pulling toilet paper from the stall next to me. I walk out of the stall. Hannah's just looking at me with the widest eyes. So I was like, what? He points to the stall next to me that I had just taken toilet paper out of. Because I'm sure you figured out there was literally someone in there. I ran out of that bathroom faster than I've ever ran anywhere in my life. I did wash my hands in a different bathroom, but I was mortified. And my boyfriend's sister did try to warn me that someone else was in there. But I was literally just so loud that I didn't hear her. <laughs> like, can you imagine you're just trying to pee in peace and then you sit down and someone starts yelling, it's time for a munch crunch and pulling the toilet paper out from under your stall into theirs Ugh. still keeps me up at night sometimes Story time about how I was voted the ugliest girl in high school. Disclaimers are not my story time, I send me an Instagram. Growing up, I was really awkward. My parents always used to call me the ugly duckling, but my dad told me not to worry that when I would grow up, I would become beautiful. Honestly, this really stuck to my head and I am very beautiful now. I used to have braces, acne. My hair has always been curly, but I didn't know how to treat it back then. My mom had really straight hair, so she had no idea how to do my hair either. And this was the toughest thing for me. I would show up to school with knots in my hair because I didn't even know how to brush it. Eventually, my mom did start taking better care of my hair, which really helped. I also did 
didn't know how to dress for my body. I wore big hoodies, big t-shirts, while the other girls in my high school dressed for their body type. I honestly just had no clue. I did get bullied, but mostly by boys. I think the girls probably just felt bad for me, so I never really had problems with other girls. A group of boys would always bother me. One of them even asked me out pretending that he wanted to go out with me. Of course I said yes because I actually believed him. He asked me to go to the movies, and when I showed up, he wasn't there. I decided to go watch the movie anyway, but the next day in school, I couldn't hear the end of it. To my face, this guy called me stupid. Story time about how I was voted the ugliest girl in high school. Disclaimer is not my story time. I said on me on Instagram. That's when the boys came out with the list of the ugliest girls in high school. What they did was pass around some flyers with all the names on it. And then they had people write the number one ugliest girl on the list. As soon as I saw my name on the list, I wanted to die. I pretended I was sick and went home. There was this one girl who actually stood up for me and the rest of the girls. And she was actually one of the prettiest girls in the entire school. She told everyone to knock it off, but nobody listened to her. Instead, the boys added her to the list as well, but there was no way that she was going to get voted number one. It would show up every day to school that week wishing that I was dead. Finally on Friday they came out with the winner and of course everyone picked me. I was completely mortified but I actually started laughing when I saw the list. It was like the stress from the entire week had finally accumulated and my reaction was to just laugh. While they were all hoping that I was just going to break down and cry, I started to laugh in their faces. The teacher asked me what was wrong and I showed her the list. She ran over to the principal's office and everything became way too dramatic for me. So I literally decided to run away from school. When I got home I told my parents everything. Part 3 is uh Story time about how I was voted the ugliest girl in high school. Disclaimer is not my story time. I sent me on Instagram. When I got home and told my parents what happened, my dad actually started to cry. He actually did feel really bad for me. They sat me down and told me that looks weren't everything. That's when my dad told me again that I would grow out of this awkward phase. Then they decided to take me shopping to the mall. Went into this really cute clothing store that I had always wanted to go to but never had the courage to. And they actually bought me a full wardrobe. After that, that's when my mom took me to a salon and they actually did my hair. They gave me a whole hair care routine, which I had never even heard of before. And I even went and got some noxema, which actually the noxema really worked for my acne. So when I got back to school, I felt like a different person, but not really because I was still me. The principal had gone out of her way to make all the boys pay, but really they only got suspension and didn't go to school for a week. The rest of high school was actually not that bad. I did look a lot better. Five years later, I'm absolutely gorgeous. And guess what? One of the boys who bullied me actually slipped into my DMs last week. Can someone please explain to me why teenage girls are so mean for no reason? So about an hour ago, I went out to Target, and mind you, I already hate going out by myself, so this just made it ten times worse. So literally right as I'm walking into Target, a group of five girls walks in. And the first thing that goes through my head is, oh my gosh, they're so pretty, I'm scared of them. I haven't had conditioner for about like a week and a half, and I've been too lazy to go to the store, so the first place that I went in Target was to go get more conditioner. So the group of girls is like right behind me, and I just hear them like laughing and giggling. I don't think they're laughing at me, but you know, when a group of girls is behind you, you laughing you get like scared i don't know about y'all but i do i'm not gonna give you guys all of the boring details i'm gonna get straight to the point that literally hurt my feelings and maybe want to run out of target crying i grab my conditioner and then i go over and look at the nails because as we all know i have four nails on this side and then none on this hand and i was like let me just get some acrylic some press on acrylic so the press on nails are on like the back shelf and i bend down to like look at the ones on the bottom and one of the curls obviously the mean one comes up to me and is like do you know where the nail polish remover is as if it's not right next to me and i just replied with um i'm not sure i don't work here and she was like oh it looks like you'd work here. And at that point, I'm like, oh, um, I don't know what that means. All the Target employees are wearing red. I am wearing a black hoodie. Does it look like I work here? But no, I was way too scared to like talk back to that girl. Then one of the other girls that she's with grabs the conditioner that I had already grabbed and goes, ooh, I've been looking for this and takes it and walks down the aisle and starts laughing with her friend. Now, I am all by myself and it is a group of girls. I'm not going to say anything because I don't feel like getting my feelings hurt. So I get up, don't pick out any nails and I'm just kind of upset and I walk over right back to the conditioner because that's one thing that I did need. So I hear the girls laughing and I'm like, all right, I'm, I gotta get out of this aisle. So I hurry up and grab my conditioner. And like, I genuinely felt like I was being like pranked or something like, and I know I'm being dramatic, but like, why are they so mean? I know I sound dramatic, but like being there, it felt like they were like trying to corner me in and like jump me or something. So I say, excuse me. And I get out the aisle. So about five minutes goes on of me being in Target and I'm trying to like figure out what I want for dinner tonight. So I'm like going down the frozen food section. They didn't say this directly to my face, but they made it very clear that it was aimed towards me. The girl that told me that I look like I work at Target walks by the aisle and was like, of course she's in the food section obviously aimed at me at this point i'm like what the hell like who are these girls and why are they doing this because it was like nothing said to my face other than that first interaction at like the nail spot but then everything else kind of like was like secretly aimed at me and i'm like what did i do to these girls 
this is what made me feel like I was literally being filmed for freaking TikTok. So I guess they split up and one of the other girls, they come by and like, she's like recording me and I'm like, oh shoot. Oh, maybe this was for TikTok to see what would you do? So at this point, I only have a big bottle of the Christian S conditioner in my hands and then a bag of dino nuggets because your girl loves dino nuggets. And I just really did not feel like cooking tonight. At this point, it's like another five minutes goes by. I kind of forget about the girls. Right, I forget about them. As I'm walking towards the clothes and Target, one of the girls bumps into me trying to make everything in my hands fall out. And I literally looked at her like this. And she looks at me and she says, is there a problem? I was like, no, 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 I'm sorry. That was my fault. I'm so sorry. After I says that, the girl goes, I'm like, what the actual f If you're the really pretty girl that I ran into Target with the ginger long hair that was curled, um, you are rude. As she's walking back to her friends, I realize that I'm being recorded. So if you guys see a video of me on TikTok basically getting bullied by a group of girls, um, yeah, that's me. Mm. I just kind of forget about it. I don't really pay them no mind because I'm like, girls are just rude. I saw a really cute pair of jeans on a mannequin. I set my dino nuggets and my conditioner down because again, that's all I had in my hands right on like the little shelf where like all of the um, all of the jeans were or whatever you call it. I have the jeans like this. I see one of the girls, a different girl, not the ginger girl this time, run over, snatch my conditioner and run. Again, what is the point? Again, I know I'm being dramatic, but at that point, I literally just wanted to cry. I'm like, why am I being bullied by a random group of girls? I totally forgot about my Dino Nuggets, and I try to walk over back to the conditioner because that is the one thing that I need. I was like, all right, I'm just going to get this conditioner, and I'm going to leave. I heard the girls laughing again. I turn around, and they're literally following me, and I'm like, why? Like, at that point, like, I just wanted to bust out in tears. Why? Am I ugly or something? Like, why are y'all bullying me? I grab my conditioner, and as I am walking out of the aisle, another, a different girl. This time, it was a girl that hasn't said anything, comes up to me and says, do you have something to say? to us because you keep giving us a dirty look and I said no like I'm so sorry like I feel like y'all are trying to target me or something and they said are you calling us a bitch and I said no I did not say that just like that I was like no I did not say that I'm just trying to get my stuff and leave the store what is your point in doing this the girl goes we just find it funny and at that point I'm like okay so now I know everything that you guys were doing was on purpose but again I'm scared of group of girls so I didn't say anything and I just walked away I get to self checkout with just my conditioner I left my dino nuggets that I really wanted I get over there and I see the group of girls following me and I'm like, please not again. I get to the self-checkout and one of them comes up to me and was like, oh, I'll pay for that for you. I was like, no, it's okay. Like, I got it. It's literally just a couple bucks. And she was like, no, I'm going to get it for you. In like the fake high-pitched voice. While I'm insisting no, she taps her phone, pays for my thing, and then walks away with it. At that point, I literally just left Target and was like, I am not doing this. I'm never coming back here. I got in my car and I cried on the way home because I was just being a little dramatic little baby. But I... I don't know, guys. If you are one of those girls and you are watching this, please do better and don't do that to anyone else because you made me want to cry in the store. And if that was what your goal was, you succeeded. Because y'all are now I will not be eating anything for dinner because of your little comment that was like, oh, of course she's in the food section. Oh, what is that supposed to mean? What is that supposed to mean? Are you calling me fat? Are you calling me? You could have just called me fat. You didn't have to secretly beat around the bush. No, I'm just kidding. I just ordered Chipotle. Fuck y'all. Love you guys. Bye.